there are a couple effects of food that are independent, or I should say a couple effects of eating, because the food won't do it when it's sitting across the table, but of eating that are powerful for modulating circadian rhythm, wakefulness, et cetera. And that's because every time we eat, we get eating induced thermogenesis, regardless of what we eat. And now, you know, from the discussion about temperature, that if you're eating early in the day, you're tending to shift your rhythm earlier so that you'll want to wake up earlier the next day. If you're eating very late in the day, even if you can fall asleep after that, there's a tendency for you to want to sleep later the next day. And changing the variables that are pushing your body and your mind in the directions that you don't want to go. Self-experimentation is something that should be done slowly, carefully. You don't want to be reckless about this. And this is where I would say manipulating one or two variables at a time is really going to be best as opposed to changing a, you know, a dozen things all at once to really identify what it is that's most powerful for you.